Kansas News Leader. Capper Foundation is adding a little Latin flair to this year's concert for a child. The fourth annual event features Son Venezuela, and there is still time to get your ticket. Capper's communications specialist Lacey Kinder is here to tell us how. Welcome to you. Hello. This is very fun. So yes. for those who aren't familiar with Son Venezuela, what kind of music can we expect? How big is this group? This group is a nine piece band, so they are quite large, <laughs> um, but they bring the Latin and Caribbean flair um, to the Midwest and have for over 30 years. So 2024 is actually their 30th anniversary and they were recently inducted into the Kansas Music Hall of Fame as well. So, so they're very good. Yeah, yes. no kidding. And we, we've got a photo of the group so you can see just how large they are. And one of their members, Louis Guillon, is Chef Louis, as many people know him. He was here a few weeks ago and he shared yes. his son actually is employed at Dialogue, which is one of the employment programs that is a partnership with Capper Foundation. Yes. How fun is that? Oh, I forgot to put the photo in. That's okay. We know Chef Louie, uh, and, and it shows there's like 10, 10, 10 members or something like that for the band. How yeah. fun is that to have the people know that it means so much that they then use their personal talents to give and pay forward? It's incredible. Um, Luis and his band members are not the only people that have given their talents in the past for um, Concert for a Child or other events that we've had. Um, so it just brings an extra special touch um, to these events. And we want every child that we see to grow up and be just as successful as Andreas is at um, Dialogue and all of his other endeavors. When people are coming to this concert, they're getting great music, but then what does it support? So it, it supports our pediatric services um, program um, as well as our Children's Abilities Fund. And the Children's Abilities Fund is a fund that supports families who may struggle to um, with their high deductibles or needing to help to cover their co-pays for appointments. Our goal is to never turn away a child um, for an inability to pay for services because those vital therapy sessions, physical, occupational, speech, feeding, those are imperative to their development they early change. on. They change lives, they absolutely yes. do. And in addition to music, there are a couple other fun things people can purchase. Uh, you yes. have a chance to win things. Yes, so thanks to our partners at the Walmart Fulfillment Center here in Topeka, we have a $500 cash and $500 Walmart gift card. And the cool thing is, is that you do not have to attend uh, the concert to participate in the raffle. So um, even if you're not able to come out next Friday, we encourage people to purchase their raffle tickets as well for a chance to win one of those great prizes. And how do we do it? Do we get concert tickets and raffle tickets at the same place? Yes. Okay. So um, the link um, for all of those things are, is available through our website, capper.org. And how much are concert tickets and how much are the raffle tickets? So concert tickets are $20 each and then raffle tickets, you can buy one ticket for $5 or a bundle of five tickets for $20. Absolutely incredible. Yes. And we should let everyone know the date of the concert. I haven't mentioned that yet. <laughs> the Concert for a Child with Son Venezuela is Friday, August 23rd, seven o'clock. It's taking place at the Aurora at Vinewood. That's near Lake Shawnee is where you will find it. Again, the tickets are $20. You do need to buy them in advance. No tickets will be sold at the door. Capper.org is where you go for that and for the raffle tickets and you don't even need to be present to win in the raffle. No, you do not. That is a fantastic way to support and maybe get a little payoff as well. Lacey, Absolutely. appreciate you being here. Thank we always you. love seeing you and of course we love you our too. friends at Capper Foundation. Thank you. We will see if we calm down after our stormy night or if more severe weather could be in our future. Your first alert forecast is next.